Okay guys, well the idea today is to create an army tent. Now this is going to be a fairly high poly tent. Uh, the idea is when it's done and if you want to use it as a prop you need to retopo that, right? Just so you understand. So I'm going to take a uh, polygon cube, hit R to scale that up and pull that out until we have the overall shape here and kind of stretch that a little bit. I'm going to hit Control A to go in. We're going to go into our cube here. Uh, depth wise, one's fine. Height wise, uh, not height, um, width wise. Let's see here. We'll do. Yeah, something like that for now, right? Okay. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to right click and go to Edge. Click and Shift. Double click on this guy, hit W to pull that up, and duck or nuts on that, try to keep something like so. Then we're going to go in, we're going to take the uh, vertices, so right click vertex, drag select, and shift to drag select. And we'll hit 4 for wireframe mode so you can see what's going on. And we're going to hit R and we're going to pull them out like this until we're happy with the overall shape. I would say something like this. All right. Okay. So now that we have this in place, a couple of things we need to do. First of all, not completely satisfied with this right here. So we're going to go into Edge and Edge. And let's just kind of pull that out like so. It's a little bit better, I would say. And hit W and maybe push them down a bit. And then hit R and kind of, yeah, that's better. It's just a personal preference, I would say, right? Okay, so now that we have this, uh, we need to put in uh, quite a bit of detail. So uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start off with my uh, modeling toolkit. And I'm going to use my multi cut tool. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hold the control key. And I'm going to put an edge in here. I'll put an edge in here. I'll put one in the top. Let's say around there. One towards the bottom, around there. There you go. Uh, we're going to need windows, of course, so we're going to hold down control again, and the top of the window will be about, I would say, there. The bottom would be about here. We can use that in the front as well. We want a door, of course, in the front, so we'll put one here, and we'll put one, I would say, here. And the spacing looks about right. And then, let's see, we'll put one in here close to that and we'll put one in here close to that all right hit Q on the keyboard now we're going to start to make some initial cuts here so I'm going to go in right click go to face one two and three delete that go in here one two three delete that and we want windows in the front uh, but they're a bit large so I'm going to go back in multi-cut Control key, put one in there, put one in there. Q on the keyboard, one and two, and delete those. Then we're going to go back in one more time, multi toolkit, control key, let's go in here and in here. Q on the keyboard again, we're going to right click on the face, one, two, three, four and open that door. And if you want, you can take the bottom out as well, like that, right? Now, talking about the bottom here, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and basically what we're going to do is get rid of that. All right, just trying to be quick about it. Not quite there, but I think we're getting close. Yeah, and I didn't take anything else out, looks like. Come on, don't be like that. Got it for the most part, just don't want this and don't want this and this and if we hit four we can see exactly what's selected and that's about it so we're going to delete hit five to go back 
and I think I got everything All right. Okay, so that's the basic shape, right? Now, a couple of things you want to do here. Um, first of all, you want to have uh, kind of rolls of fabric, the window shutters, if you will. So that's going to be this guy, this guy, and this guy. And we're going to have one here, here, and here. Okay. And then one here and one there. So we're going to hit Control E to extrude. Let's uh, go in and set this to 0 0.2, I would say maybe a bit more than that maybe 0 0.5 even that's a bit better and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and uh, hit r actually we're not going to do that we're going to do it differently we're going to go in here and we're going to go to edge and top and bottom top and bottom top 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 bottom 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 flip around Nope, not that one. Top and top and top, bottom, bottom, bottom. Go to edit mesh and bevel. Fraction's about right. Maybe 0 0.7 or so. And then segments, three. Now, doing so creates n-gons on the sides, as you can see here. So we got one there, one there, one there. You got one there and one there. We're going to go to uh, edit mesh and poke to fix that. Then we're going to flip it over there, there, and there. G to repeat. So those are all sorted. We'll do one here and one here. G to repeat. There, there, and there. G to repeat and flip that. Hey guys, well, it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. Over, and we have one, two, and three and G to repeat. So we're good. All right, we're getting closer. So now what we need to do is go in here, right click at the edge, click, not edge, sorry, uh, face, right click at the face, click, shift, double click on this guy and on this guy. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.2. That would be about right. Yeah, I think that's okay. And let's see what else. I'm thinking about doing one in the middle, maybe two even. So we're going to go into Internet Loop, Option Box, uh, Multiple and One, which will put one right in the middle. So one there and one there. Q on a keyboard. Double click on this guy. Go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. So we're going to set that to 0 0.2. 0.1, there you go. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to face. We're gonna select that and that. Control E to extrude, 0 0.2, there you go. So we get that all in place. And now for the fun stuff. So um, this looks a little bit too straight, right? So we're gonna turn this into an end cloth object, right? So let's uh, close this down, let's close this down. We're gonna right click and go in. And actually before we do that, let's add subdivision. Like I said, we want this to look right, okay? So we're gonna go in here, injured edge loop is still set to uh, one and in the middle. So when we do that, oops. Every time we click, it will be perfectly in the middle, right?
But guys, this should be fine. Like I said, hi poly, but there it is, right? Okay, so now we're gonna right click and we're gonna select this guy. We're gonna go to our VX menu and we're gonna go up to N cloth and create N cloth. Now, if we hit play on this thing, right? So I'm just gonna shut this down and hit play. It's just gonna fall straight down as you would expect, right? Being in cloth and all. So we're gonna jump back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to restrict that movement a little bit. So I'm gonna go in to this view. Actually, let's try the perspective view. Let's go in here, we're gonna hit four for wireframe mode. And I'm gonna to start to lock this into place in a couple of places. So I'm gonna right click and go to vertex, right? Drag select these top two. Drag select these top two. Move it over, take those, and move it over and take those. Now, if I select all of that and I go to uh, end constraint and transform constraint, and I'm going to do this step by step, right? So, right now, if I hit play, you'll see that it won't fall down, well, at least the top won't fall down, right? So, if I hit play, you'll see that it's all hanging and drooping down like that. Okay. So we're going to go back and this is where the fun uh, comes in because now we can make it look like an actual tent right or behave like an actual tent so we're going to go in here and we're going to repeat that a couple of times right click vertex let's get in here and let's take that one and that one i'm going to go in here and we're going to take that one and that one that one and that one that one and that one let's flip around the tent And with all of those selected, we're gonna to go to end constraint and transform constraint. Now, this is gonna look quite different. So we're gonna go back in, we're gonna hit play, and it's starting to look like a tent, right? Awesome. Now, we still see the bottom falling inwards, and we don't want that, so we're gonna jump back in, and once again, we're gonna go and lock those into place, right? So we're gonna right click and go to vertex, and let's get the right vertices. So we've got one here, one there. We're gonna go in here. And we're gonna go in here. And I have one too many vertices selected right here. that guy all right so we got that once again and constraint transform constraint right so now let's go in here let's hit play and see what happens okay so we got this end locked into place as you can see now let's do that end right so let's hit stop jump back to frame one Right, we got those and transform constraint. Okay, so now we're gonna hit five for shaded mode. We're gonna get in here, get it into place, and let's hit play. And the cool thing here is you can now stop whenever you want. So you can jump back, you can hit play, and then stop right there, or even less than that. So hit play and stop. And if you decide that this is the look you want, and this is not bad at all, right? You're gonna select your tent and you're just gonna go up to edit, delete by type and history, modify, freeze transformation, modify, reset transformation. Sorry, Re yeah, okay. So this is now your tent, right?
So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, I'm going to take this into Keyshot to do a quick render, and you guys will see the end result in the thumbnail. So hopefully you guys had fun with this little tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, if you uh, want to support my channel, uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you check out the link below to renderpeople.com, you can get a bunch of free um, stuff there, right? Free models. So check that out. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.